what's up everybody it's your boy and yeah y'all read the title correctly this is love and hip-hop season six episode two review y'all already know like i said when i get the shit i will let y'all know if y'all are not already on the t spillings facebook fan page i don't know where the fuck you been when the shit come out that's where I'm gonna post it. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, one of my tea spills, uh, you know, Latasha, she put me on, which I was just like, fuck, thank you. So it is what it is. So shout out to you. Like I said, I'm tea spilling. Y'all my tea spillers. This is what the fuck we do. All right. Now, before I get into this review, okay, guy, old school, mm -hmm, crystal like grape concord, y'all. Oh shit, that's good. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go alright so <clears throat> let me say this this episode <clears throat> gave me a lot I'm not gonna lie this was a good fucking episode but y'all know I'm mad about some shit now <clears throat> I was damn sure not gonna talk about Amina but just read my book one, all right? She wanted me to go ahead and give Amina two more episodes. So she got one more after this. And all right, we gonna, we, we gonna see. I'm gonna get to, this gonna be a long motherfucking uh, review and all of this. If y'all ain't already got some for y'all to sip, oh, should y'all be sipping on some shit? You know what, don't eat a drink shit. Cause I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say. I never know what the fuck I'm gonna say. It's shit to go, I know we gonna be here for a minute. I don't left my damn phone over there. Ain't that about a bitch? I ain't getting it. Anyway, Cardi B <clears throat> starts this shit off. All right. Now, yeah, we finally get her. We finally get the chance to see her. And she's a fucking ball of fire. I did not know her until this. I know y'all probably like, where the fuck have you been? I don't know. But, it, you know, here's one thing I'm going to say. A motherfucker worked. Okay, a motherfucker got a life. I'm... I have all these social media platforms and everything and I get on there when I either ain't got shit to do or I got a moment to do some shit. Okay. I, I'm not always on motherfucking social media so I don't know everybody. I don't fucking follow everybody. I a hit dog will holler so if that's you, my bad. But I got a motherfucking life so I don't follow these motherfucking people. But you know what? She gave me some good motherfucking entertainment and I think she is going to be my fucking favorite. I really do. I'm still waiting for her to hit me with that motherfucking, you know, line. If a bitch have beef with me, she gonna have beef with me. Forever. I'm waiting for that. I am. I am. But we get introduced to her. Uh, she want to make money and uh, party. I can't be fucking mad at that. Uh, like I said, she even said that she could be in her feelings in a relationship, but then she realizes that she got to make that money, which I'm like, you know what? On oh, some real shit. That's a motherfucking word if I didn't, if I ain't never heard one. Okay. So what she's saying to everybody out there is if you're in a relationship and you start getting your feelings, realize you got to make some motherfucking money, go make that damn money. Now, I'm not saying that you got to sit here and start sliding down poles like, you know, at the fire station and shit. But again, you know, keep your eyes on the prize and make your money. All right, shit. Okay. Now, we see DJ Self. And again, from the previews, we know that they, you know, because again, the previews give us a lot. So we already know what to look forward to. And we actually gonna get that shit on the next motherfucking episode. The whole uh, her getting into it with old girl, you know. But we'll talk about all that shit later. But you know, DJ Self pretty much says that she wants to be an artist, and you know, uh, she needs him. I you I guess to pop off her career. Okay, we gonna see. <clears throat> and here's the thing, you know, dare I say it, look like she probably gonna fuck her way to the top. But here's the thing, on some real shit. I'm one of those where if you, how can I say, I'm not going to say live in your truth, but if you own your shit, I can't be mad at you. I really can't. More motherfucking people need to be like that. <laughs> Tara, get to that hoe too. So, <clears throat> what else? Uh, Cardi pretty much says that, you know, uh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, Cardi pretty much says she does not like being lied to. She does not like surprises and she doesn't like being put in situations that she might have to go to jail over. Now, I feel her on two of those three. Nah, sort of kind of feel on all three. The whole surprises, that's hit or miss with me. But on some real shit, I don't like being lied to. And I definitely don't like for motherfuckers to, you know, 
put me in a situation or intro I'm not gonna say put me but introduce me to a situation in which one of these other motherfucking personalities that I have inside my head will sit here and take over, okay? And then some shit will pop off and my ass go to jail. So I I totally fucking understand her about that. I really do. Uh, trust me, y'all. I have notes about this shit. We gonna be, like I said, we gonna be here for a minute. Get comfy. And her, um, you know, she, um... She tries to put him in a video. I think she was probably doing like a real quick uh, IG video and he kind of ducks out like, you know, why you doing that and shit? You know, we supposed to be on the low. Now, right there, that that was the hint. <clears throat> we supposed to be on the low. So, ladies, come on now. If the motherfucker ain't trying to claim you, if y'all supposed to be on the low, that tells you something right there. <clears throat> Yet at the same motherfucking time, if you gonna play your position, play your position. So if you sitting here fucking somebody for some motherfucking money, hey, that's your shit. Own your shit, but understand what your place is. So don't get in your feelings when you know you get introduced to the main or side bitch chick hoe slut number twelve and seventy four. I don't fucking know. Now she says they have been together for two years. I'm like, well, hot damn, hot damn. All I'm gonna say is this: I hope. She been us, uh, you know, uh, creating her nest egg. Okay, if y'all don't know what a nest egg is, I'ma need for y'all to sit here and you know get y'all education on. Okay, cause I shouldn't, as a man, know what a nest egg is, but I do. Again, I was raised around all women, so and I think by some of my mannerisms, y'all can tell, right? So <clears throat> she, uh, like I said she's not mad that he may be with somebody, but she's mad that he's not going to tell the truth. So again, that right there lets you know that she does not mind playing her position. She just wants the motherfucker to be honest. Which, again, I can't be mad at her about that. I can't. I really can't. I, I like an honest hoe. Okay? I'm an honest hoe. I like an honest hoe. And her, uh, what, what the fuck else? And, uh, she's with somebody that's in jail. You know? And, you know, DJ Self won't her to leave old boy. Her old thing is, even though his ass locked up, I am all that he thinks about because his ass is locked up but i'm all that he thinks about and he cares more about me than you do i don't know if that's supposed to win him over but that's what she said and she asked him if he's dealing with somebody and he says uh is that what you want to hear followed by give me a friendly hug and she was like friends don't hug like this but again right there that lets you know and ladies what i'm gonna for y'all to do Okay, it's 2006, 2016 around the motherfucking corner. I'm gonna need for y'all to sit here. Okay, I need for y'all to listen on some real shit. I need for y'all to listen. I, I'm trying to give y'all some wisdom in this video. I know that again, I might lose my damn player card and shit for it, but it's okay. Listen, stop being overly in love and shit. Sometimes you gotta be calculating in motherfucking relationships. Listen to the shit that these boys, cause they ain't motherfucking men, okay? Men own they shit. Men will own they shit, okay? Oh, gentlemen, okay, will make sure that you are the very first thing and the only thing that in his life, and if you fall second to any woman, it's gonna be his mother. And if you fall second to anyone, then it's probably gonna be mama then daughter. If anything, you feel what damn my phone blowing up. Golly. Whatever. I will deal with that when I get up over there. <laughs> but hopefully y'all pick that up. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm I'm trying to help y'all, okay? I'm, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to school some of y'all. Okay. Now we get to shitter and um, you know, bum bitches on deck. Okay, bust down bitches on deck. Whatever fuck we gonna call their asses, okay, you know. Bad built bitches on that. I don't fucking know hell. There's many different names they ask and go by. Shit, I can't take your ass seriously. Bad bitches on deck. So she wants to address shitty. Uh, wants to address Mo. Okay. And one now again, all of them are sitting down for like a lunch or some dinner. I don't know what the fuck it is, but they're all sitting down right now. You know, uh, Lexi comes in, you know, she gives her like the little cheek kiss. Then Mo comes in and she does this and then rolls her eyes. So it's like, we're already, you being extra. So this right here lets me know that Shitty is only on here for something. You know what I'm saying? Like, apparently something ain't working about it. And, and uh, she, you know, me and Shitty gonna have a talk in a minute. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need her to, you know, meet me face to face, okay, man to. 
man to whatever the fuck her ass is. So, uh, you know, she pretty much tells, now mind you, they are in a public fucking place, has a tood and, and is telling her, <clears throat> you pick the wrong place and time to address her. Now, I agree with that. What I don't agree with is the tone and the manner in which the shit came out because she could have easily sat down with her and be like, okay, better yet, talk to me about what happened there. Do you realize that this was probably not the best place and time and for me to matter? Pretty much talk to the person in a very, you know, sensible fucking manner. You feel what I'm saying? You could be mad this, that, and a third, but, <clears throat> excuse me, damn, parents are going off. No, they're not going to let me get this damn video. I'm telling y'all, but we're going to get it out. And I lost my whole damn train dog. Fuck her. Any damn way. So, no, 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 no. And I said that. So, Mo asked her, when was I supposed to speak to her? And on some real shit, that was a good fucking question. Because, uh, you know, she, Mo is not going to look for her, okay? Mo, Mo not about that life. You feel what I'm saying? Mo not about that life. Where the fuck I grew up? Crap, okay. If we going by when I grew up and around that about around that time frame, I'm not talking about motherfuckers my age, but the older generation. If you got your ass whooped, you know what? I got my ass whooped. It is what the fuck it is. We may not necessarily shake on it, but I see you. You see me. The shit's done, right? Now, <clears throat> my fucking generation which i think this you know busty ass bitch is only rolled into that shit too one of those where where the fuck i grew up oh you done bust me in my motherfucking head bet i'm about to go get my peoples i'm about to get ray ray nug nug you know poop all pookie all the asses june but i'm getting everybody and we about to go roll up on now mind you is that the right hand no is is that me no because i'm one of those where i'm a one-on-one -on -one type of motherfucker if i want to rematch i just want a motherfucking rematch but that's how the fuck i grew up so my thing is this if you really wanted to, if you really wanted it with her you could have found her you could have found her okay <clears throat> but she was just afraid to get another motherfucking concussion and stitches and shit i understand i do so ra is pretty much saying how she put a motherfucking name online Mo is like, you are our manager, and Rod's like, I make the decisions at the end of the day. Now, what I'm going to say is this. That's one of those where it's a true statement, but it's a false statement. It's your job to manage, and you can make certain decisions depending on what it is, but there are certain things that, as a manager, you need to consult with the R's before you make certain fucking decisions. Or, <clears throat> if this shit was for real, for real, <clears throat> the artist would have assistance or an assistant i say assistance because it's two of them and <clears throat> if things are being booked this that, and third sometimes that shit is ran you know through the assistant but again these are bum bitches on deck so I, why am i even talk this shit ain't anyway I'm, I'm getting too fucking invested and she pretty much says i don't need you and you know <clears throat> ross says she doesn't take opportunities that stress her out but you already knew how the fuck these bitches were again i'm, I'm gonna have my moment she says that <clears throat> clearly you are the weakest link says this shit to mo okay very fucking condescending and mo in her feelings says that since i'm the weakest link she should manage you i will speak to you you can relay the message to her and then mo leaves right now <clears throat> what i'm about to say is not the way that you would motherfucking handle situations and shit. Now, what I was expecting her to do was to reach around that, you know, reach around the table and commence to beating that whole ass. But again, we know she not about that life. Now, what real motherfucker would do is be like, you know what? Since your since your mouth so motherfucking, you know, loose. Why don't we go to fuck <clears throat> outside where ain't nobody can, you know, where it's just you and I, and I can sit here and you know I can knock your motherfucking jaw shut. But she ain't about that. Again, she ain't about either one of those lives. You feel what I'm saying? So Lexi is trying to defend Mo's honor to shit her. To shit him. That hope. Mo comes back and saying, because you are still sitting here, that lets me know how loyal you are. And I'm like, I get tired of these motherfuckers with this motherfucking loyalty bullshit. Lexi gets up to appease her and that's that. Hold on, because I, I need to. Now... <clears throat> Shitty. I wasn't even gonna address you. I was part. I was gonna wait for Remy to get in your ass before I said anything to you. 
But I'm gonna have to talk to you right now. My whole thing is this. I'm gonna need for you to smooth, get somewhere and sit the fuck down, okay? Can, can, can we agree to that? And, and this is why. I watch a lot of reality television. It's what the fuck I do. Reality television. <clears throat> I does it so I can laugh at other people. And sometimes motherfuckers with money. It's nice to watch y'all go through the fuck shit that y'all do. Because that makes me feel just that much better about the real shit that I go through in my motherfucking life. With the little bit of money that my ass fucking got. But here's the thing. Bitch, your ass struggling. Because what a lot of people don't know is I, if y'all have time, if y'all got Hulu, go back in time and watch The Basketball Holes, the original Miami, season one. And it's going to be a little denter. I forget what fucking episode it is. And you're going to see one badly built bitch at the table. Who might that be? It's shitty. It's at the fucking table. <clears throat> so you sitting there trying to turn up to be a part of that fucking cast. And then you, then you sit here and mosey your way on over and you sitting here licking on Mona's clit to be on the show. So then you on here, if I'm not mistaken, first as a fucking consultant, a shoe consultant. I wonder how that fucking business going. Then you disappear, then you come back as a friend to Tahiri. Then you leave and now you back as a wannabe motherfucking manager. I'm gonna have to ask you to get a real motherfucking job, okay? I'm trying to figure out, like, do you have some type of credits on this show? Are you, like, an executive producer or some shit? I'm not finna sit here and watch the credits. I don't really give a fuck about you or motor bitch ass, but I like to watch this shit for pure fucking entertainment. But I'm trying to figure this shit out, okay? So, we know you struggling. We know you struggling, but you doing the absolute most. And what I'm gonna say is this. You Jasmine Sullivan off-brand look-alike motherfucking Walmart version of her. I'm going to have to ask you to smooth, get somewhere and sit the fuck down. All right. Because I'm being nice right now. I'm being very, very nice. There's a lot more that I can say. But I'm being nice. Hopefully, I get... Chances are, if I have to come back and I really have to dress up, I'm, pro I'm probably going to sit here and I'm going to just go the fuck at it. I'm going to have clips and everything for y'all motherfucking asses. Like, I can't. Rich. Who we 17 minutes into this shit. All right, rich motherfucking dollars. Now, he mentions that since things ended badly with him on these, he sees that the distance had um kind of forced him to realize that what is close to him, he needs to keep it close. And he uh, has his 16-year-old daughter, Ashley. She's going to be staying two weeks with him. Might I say his daughter is fucking beautiful. I was shocked. I was like, well, hot damn. <laughs> Mind you, I don't do the youngest and shit. She's 16, I'll be 29 next week. But I was like, damn. All right now. Ooh, woo. But I digress. They begin to talk and shit. And he lays down his ground rules. She lays down hers. No women. You're going to leave your liquor shit alone. No work. I'm going to be the center of your attention. Now, I'm going to say this. That was cute. Okay. Because he even admits that he has not been as much of a part of her life as he should have been. But I'ma say this. She was a tad bit she was the fuck out of line. Not even a tad bit. She was out of line. Why? Because her uh the whole I'm the adult, you the child. Okay, I understand he tries relationship, but I'm the fucking adult. Number one. Okay. You not finna tell me who the fuck I can and cannot have in and out of this place. Now, what I will say is, I'm gonna come back to this particular point, but he don't answer to her. He grown. She the child, he the adult. One. Two, talking about some, you know, pretty much telling him leave business alone. If I don't do business, uh, you don't eat. Bills don't get paid. I'ma still take care of business. Now, mind you, since he is an entrepreneur, he should have business partners that he can sit here and kind of throw some shit off two for two weeks. But I don't know. I, I think she was a little bit out of line. Y'all let me know how out of line Ashley was. Okay. Fuck else I got. Next page. So Rich asked her about her boyfriend. She's like, we're not together anymore. He asked her if she's a virgin. She says no. Now, he is mad shocked. 
part of me is just like i don't know why you so fucking shot like if you are not playing an active role in her life if you are not talking to her all the time <clears throat> facetiming skyping like if you are not making the attempt to be a fucking father something like this yet yeah, it's going to be a surprise you better even the boyfriend thing the whole her lose her virginity i did i don't expect that to be public fucking knowledge okay i got a video coming for y'all soon i'm gonna talk about you know my fucking first time and yeah because <laughs> outside of how my mother found out she would have never found out <laughs> okay but y'all get that video a separate damn day but the fact that you don't know about the whole boyfriend status and whatnot further lets me know how much of a father you really are okay and you know he's pretty much telling her <clears throat> i don't like pretty much you should be able to come to me to talk to me about men because i don't want you out here in these streets with any of these bum ass motherfuckers because I know how I have treated women. I know pretty much, I'm paraphrasing, but I know that I'm a creep, yah, yah, blah, blah. And I don't want that for you. <clears throat> and I failed him on that, you know? Because I have a cousin. I'm not going to say who she was. You know, if she ever watches this video, yes, bitch, I'm talking about you. I love you, though. She pretty much said, you know, yeah, I used to fuck dudes just for money. This and third, you know, certified hope. You know, she has moved past that. But what she told me is when you get with somebody, I need to meet her. Because since I've been there, I can spot these tendencies in a female. And I can let you know right quick. And that shit is completely honest. I mean, and, uh, and like I said, sometimes having somebody of the other sex, you know, interact with your potential love thing or whatever they can pick up on shit that you can't because like i said you could be blinded by the obvious because like i said you full of lust and not necessarily love just throw it out there so he pretty much says he wants to be a her bullshit block i'm trying to sweep this shit up remy and shitty meet up uh they talk about what the fuck going on in life long story short remy said i need you to help me with the wedding i'm not happy about that one because we're gonna talk about this in a minute she didn't talk to pap about this but at the same exact time there's a difference between i need your help and i need you to put this together meaning <clears throat> you under contract two totally different things y'all be sitting here trying to get friends to help y'all asses out and then shit go level you says no put that shit in writing in motherfucking writing it's gonna save your life tyra and amina tyra i need to take another sip before i talk i, I should have put liquor in this shit Trying to stay hydrated, though. I'm trying to stay hydrated. Just let y'all know I'm 13 pounds away from my initial weight loss goal. Ah, I'm all, <laughs> I know from 275. I'm 233.2 pounds, and I'm trying to. And my first goal was 220. I know y'all can see it in my motherfucking face. And yeah, so I gotta stay hydrated on y'all asses. But <clears throat> Amina confronts Tara due to her intuition, right? Amina asks her if she knows what Peter is. And if he has been sleeping at her house, Tyra says, not necessarily. No. Right there, that red flag. You feel what I'm saying? Right there, motherfucking red flag. Like, you can't answer the fucking question directly. Okay. And, and then she even says, Peter says, y'all are not necessarily together. She was like, yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, now. Tara says she is not mad that he is dealing with Amina, but she is mad that he has lied about it. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. And then she even asked her, why would you deal with it? And she and Amina was just like, Well, I know something's going on because he still loves you. So Tara's like, why would you deal with a man that clearly loves another woman? Amina says, because. I don't give up. Now, what I'm gonna <clears throat> now, Amina, because just read my book one wanted me to give you two episodes. This is set. You got one more next week. Now, let me say, let me say this, bitch. <clears throat> I never saw it for your ass from Joan when you slapped down the motherfucking uh, ID and said, because I'm his wife. And ain't nothing fake about that. And your ass got snatched up. Mm hmm. But here's the thing <clears throat> if you gonna sit here and play by the old school fool rules, 
They just play by the motherfucking old school food rules. Y'all wanna know what I'm talking about? Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. <clears throat> the, and I'm talking about the old school foods. Well shit, most women do they motherfucking dudes are sleeping around shit. And why the fuck they was why the fuck they do sleeping around shit, they was sleeping around too. The main thing is just don't bring this shit to my motherfucking dope. <clears throat> and even then, sometimes it's like, you coming home to me, so it is what it is. I mean, hell, Shirley Murdoch said the best as we lay. I'm, I'm a, if y'all know about that old school, I'm going to need y'all to get on that old school music now. Just saying. <clears throat> so, Yandy and Young B, ain't even finna talk about it. I ain't even finna talk about it. Fuck Yandy. I'm only giving a mean of this episode, like I told y'all, because just read my book one. Fuck Yandy. DJ Self, he's FaceTiming with Cardi, and he kind of pretty much like gets on the phone like, oh, I got to take another call with my boy because his girl, uh, I think is uh, Yorma, I think that's what her name is. I wrote the name so fast, my bad, but, you know, Yama Yorma, whatever the fuck her name is, I actually don't even mean that in any shady fucking way. <clears throat> he's been dating her, right? So, you know, she pretty much asked him who has been over here because apparently she found a ring in the fucking bathroom and whatnot. Now he's saying to her, I don't know, but he's saying in the confessional it was a cleaning appointment. And he was like, If I really want to be with a hoe, that's why we have hotels. Which that is the which that is true. My whole thing is this. What fucking clean up lady <clears throat> gonna leave her ring in your Cause she wanna know is there anybody there? So she's crying, this, that, and the third, cause she wants him to be honest. He's not being honest. Now he tries to pull, you know, one of those player moves, like try to pull her in and kind of calm her down and whatnot, and like clutch her. That way he can try to, you know, sue the play the Jedi mind trick. She wasn't having it. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of this, post it on IG, and ask who ring is blows. He was like, no, don't do this. She was like, well, if you don't want me to do it, then put a picture of you and I up on IG. <clears throat> Why does it take all that? Why? Again, my question is, why the fuck are you with him? If you with him for the money, then be with him because of the fucking money. Like y'all, like y'all, some of y'all bitches be fucking killing me. Y'all, y'all want too motherfucking much. Like, so in order for you not to put a picture up on IG, you need for him not only to claim you, but to put a picture. The fuck? Any fucking way, moving the fuck on. I'm, I'm not doing this. Papoose and Remy. <clears throat> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get through this shit because we had 27 minutes. Now, I know y'all like, damn, motherfucker, you alone with it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it gave me a lot of shit. Okay, this is what y'all want. I'm giving it to you. Okay. Pretty much, Remy talks to Pap about shitty. And he just like, look, watch yourself. Keep your circles closed. And what's so crazy is my sister, Lady Nika, just did a video about keeping circles closed. And she and I were actually talking about that. Because I even said, shit, my fucking circles are fucking closed. Both, you know, real life and even my fucking YouTube circles. My shit closed. Like, I associate with a lot of people. I have a lot of acquaintances. But when I say my fucking circle, it ain't that many people in it. On some real shit. It ain't that motherfucking. It ain't. It's not. So, you know, and, and you know, he was telling her, like, keep your, sh keep your shit closed. And she was like, you saying that because... She wasn't that. He was like, <clears throat> she wasn't that. But that's not what I'm saying. And he was pretty much saying with the situation that landed her in jail, that was because, you know, he was a friend that brought her out some other friends, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Which I totally fucking feel him like. It's one of those ways it's like, try to keep the shit family, but be real weary about who you bring in, who you let get too fucking close. I was here for it. I really was. And at the same exact time, he wants her to meet with his children because, you know, of course, six years there's been distance between them and the course people grow up, attitudes, yah yah, blah blah, moving on. <clears throat> also, real shit, I think some of the things with the children though, and I'm talk I'll wait, I'll talk about that. So Rich meets with Miracle. Miracle is Ashley's mother. And fucking Miracle. Like here's the I see where Ashley get her fucking looks from. I'm just like, I don't know how you know Rich and pulled. I was like, golly. Fucking beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm like, all right now. All right now. But he, again, admits to not being as present as he would have liked to have been. It is what it is. And, you know, uh, Miracle wants to do some um, some missionary work in uh, the Dominican Republic for two years. And she wants him to keep asking. Her whole thing is, look, <clears throat> I'm only asking you for two fucking years. I done pretty much been the parent for 16 damn years. You can give me two. 
you can fucking get me too. Cause you know, I said she's a woman of God, I wanna do her little thug, this or this, what it is. So then Rich decides that he wants to sit here and drop the bomb on her about Ashley. Now my thing is this, what he should have done is, is told her, it's not fair that I know and your mother does not know. So I'm giving you a week to tell your mother. And if you don't tell your mother, I will tell your mother and let them talk about that. But it was real lighthearted and whatnot. Because I was actually expecting some drama when she got told. And her was like, did you hammer her with the questions? Did you tell her about the A's and the pregnancy, STDs and all the other shit? And his whole thing is like, look, she had experience. It is what it is. Ain't shit happen. And he pretty much said, as long as I'm here, this shit ain't going to happen. So we're going to see. So Remy, DJ, DJ is the female, is uh, the daughter, uh, Jace and Pap. They all have lunch. Uh, DJ, you know, like said some shit with I. She pretty much like I was defending myself, and they talk about how she's always getting into fights, and it's just like, you know, Remy is just saying, <clears throat> I told you about Will Enemy in jail, you know. And her whole thing is do as I say now as I do, but she's like, I want you to think about the decisions that you made because your decisions could put you in a bad place, which is cool. Got it. And she even says to Jay, just like, you know, I don't know why you have blocked me on your social media. And he's talking about privacy. And she was like, I remember not being able to close my door. And here's the thing. I really do think this part is played up, you know, just give them a little extra substance. It's cute. I like it. And I'm going to say this on some real shit. Shit, your boy at one point growing up, my dukes had the motherfucking hinges taken off my motherfucking door. They just let... Kids, kids today, they just don't understand. They don't. And they talk to the kids about the wedding and them being in the wedding. I'm almost done, y'all. I'm sorry for talking y'all ear off and shit. So we go in with Tara, Amina, and Peter. And now Tara is still saying that she moved into the building for Peter to be close to the children. Under the pretense he wasn't with Amina. My whole thing is this. I need for this bitch, this dumb ass bitch, to be honest with herself again. Y'all have heard me say, I think Tara is fucking gorgeous. She is smart, but she is fucking dumb and dick sprung. That is it. That is all. Because again, if it was for him to be closed, that's one thing. You know what? I I'm away because I, I feel... I'm trying to keep myself calm. Y'all know my ass don't have blood pressure medicine, right? Like, I'm trying not to get my my fucking self worked up. Fucking tired. And here's the thing. Two songs, if y'all haven't heard them. Like, they situation reminds me of Deborah Cox and uh, Whitney Houston. Same script, different cast. Almost. Because, again, the way you get them is the way you lose them. So, pretty much, Amina is losing Peter to Tara. The same way that it was taken, but Tara failed to realize you going because here's the thing, if y'all forgot, Tara took him from somebody else. So of course she lost him to Amina. Now Amina is losing him back to Tara. Now I'm sitting here getting the boy is mine teased. Like that's what I'm getting. You know, I'll about to start singing on y'all asses, but uh, I ain't gonna do that now. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna hit y'all with this baritone, you know, velvet ass sexual chocolate goodness. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> All right. I need to stop. All right. So Tyra invites Peter over and Amina. Amina's coming later. He don't know that just yet. <clears throat> she says that she moved here for the kids, not for him to play with her emotions and feelings. If that is the case, then he shouldn't have any power over you to play with your damn emotions and your feelings. If you only move there for the kids. Yet again, she said prior at the beginning of the fucking scene that she only moved there under the pretense he wasn't with Amina. Again, I need you to fucking be honest with herself on some real shit. What else? Sad, you know, I'm, I'm glistening a little bit. I'm glistening. <clears throat> now, she says she only agreed to move in because you she, pretty much he said that he wasn't with her. So she's being, it's one of those, she's being honest, but she's lying at the same damn time. And I don't like it. So she says, well, Mina's on her way, so we can clear this shit up. He was like, so we'll we have a snitch fest. <laughs> and she was like, uh, no, we're going to have a family reunion. I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, huh. 
Alright, so Amina pretty much asked the questions, are we, are we together or not? And he pretty much is like, yeah, we together. So Tara is like, Amina is pretty much, he, he okay, she, Tara says to Amina, Peter said that Amina was something, not someone, again, words, y'all, y'all, ladies, y'all need to pay attention to these damn words now, but it's something that went too far. Now, Amina is in her feelings and shit and Amina is like why are you with me and he says because I fell in love with you and you had the baby again I told y'all list to words I'm not gonna go too much into it because we at 35 minutes right now and you know Amina's like are you still in love with me Peter's like yeah so now Amina and Tara start getting into it now here's the thing here is the thing <clears throat> Amina is saying in her confessional, Tyra put this together because she wants to get back with Peter. Here's the thing. In essence, Tyra is pretty much serving you up. I mean, one, yes, it's because Tyra wants Peter to be honest with them. No, Tyra wants to be validated. Tyra, all Tyra is doing is giving Amina back what was given. The whole, this is because he's my husband and there's nothing fake about that. That's all that Tyra is pretty much giving her right now. You feel me? Now, Amina clocks her ass. Like, this was a fucking clock. You know, like, her motherfucking face broke because she was just like, because you're sitting here trying to depict yourself as this strong black woman that moved on. I was like, I had to clutch my imaginary pearl. I had to grab my damn shirt just like, well, da well damn. Like, I'm pretty sure that like if we need to vote on what was the read of the episode I think that was the read of the fucking episode and she was just like pretty much saying like you, you say you moved on but you fucked him and she was like I will fuck him whenever I want and I'm just like are we back to this same shit that you said last season you know I will fuck him whenever I want however I want all this other shit and I'm just like I can't like I cannot with Tara. I really wanted to bypass this, even though it was good to watch. I wanted to bypass it, but again, y'all can blame. Just read my book for this. And then she turns to Peter. Now here's the thing: either a this shit like they edited this because they wanted to get all the jargon and shit out, or this shit is truly fucking scripted. Cause there's something that was not authentic about this scene. But she was like you don't love me and she was like and you say that i'm something that went too far she slaps him i didn't believe the slap i really didn't and the reason why i said it because they didn't show the full slap in the fucking previous i don't believe the slap at all but she slaps him she throws something at him. it might have been her phone i don't know and then she leaves and she was like and i'm pregnant now i don't know why the fuck they roll dog like letting his ass fuck them raw and none of them like i don't know why like say we all know what's in the media right now that on one hand you know tara is pregnant because we knew i i saw that shit well over six months ago there's that but in addition to that there's also apparently uh peter is leaving love and hip-hop there's that shit like it's too fucking much and as much as I really want to sit here and read Tower for Phil, I don't want this video to be any more longer than what it already is because I haven't had y'all here long enough. All right, so that's all that I have, y'all. This is <clears throat> pretty much a rundown of this shit, like literally just about scene by scene, almost word for motherfucking word. But I did this for you guys because <clears throat> I love you. <clears throat> oh lord and at the same exact time if i didn't get this shit early i probably would have made this thing this motherfucker long all right but that's all that i have you guys thank you guys for watching please rate comment subscribe and share is don't stop december on that ass and guess what y'all it's almost motherfucking capricorn season all oh, motherfucking most of you a motherfucking capricorn let me know down below let me know when your motherfucking birthday is so even if i don't do a motherfucking video in january i can come to fuck on and just wish you a happy motherfucker and I'm out this bitch. Peace.